This is the fifth and final video in this series looking at the core progression of open circuit technical diver training. And we have reached the summit, the highest or rather deepest qualification a diver can be certified to, advanced trimix. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James, as always, so fantastic to see all of your smiley faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you haven't done so already, make your next dive on our subscribe button, because we make videos to try and make you the best diver you can be. We are back with the fifth video in this series, looking at the training progression of the open circuit technical diver. I am currently teaching TDI programs, so the standards I mentioned here refer to those courses. If you are interested in the equivalent courses offered by other agencies, I would highly recommend for you to reach out to your local instructors who teach those programs for the most accurate information. Okay, so you are a comfortable Trimix diver, regularly making 150 to 200 foot, that's 45 to 60 meter range dives. You are supremely capable of handling multiple stage cylinders in the water, but you have your eye on diving maybe I don't know, the Vitrick or the Queen of Nassau, to use two of our local examples, or that one dive site that sits just past the limit of your Trimix training. What to do? Well, you've reached the end. That's all there is to it. In this video, as with every video in this mini-series, we are going to cover an overview of the objectives of the Advanced Trimix Diver course. In other words, what can you expect to learn? We're going to look at the prerequisites and the qualifications of people who take this challenging course. And, of course, who this course is actually designed for. Let's start then with the overview and objectives. For most people, the Advanced Trimix Diver is the summit of their technical journey that probably started a good while ago. It's a goal that you set for yourself before probably even your first dive in doubles. And whilst I don't necessarily agree with diving to set depth records, you can't deny that there is something awesome about the first time you hit 100 meters on your dive computer. Welcome to the Centurion Club. It just feels cool. And it is a massive accomplishment. It is a testimony to your dedication to the sport. Now, some training agencies will refer to this level of diver training as hypoxic trimix, which means uh, you'll be learning to dive gas mixtures which have not enough oxygen to sustain consciousness at the surface. Therefore, you will be learning how to plan dives using travel gas. Now, making gas which is not just for decompression on your way up, but also on your way down. Skills-wise, the main learning curve at this level of training will be the handling, mounting, and deploying of additional cylinders and mixes. Travel gas will be a new concept at this level. Uh, all skills will be familiar to the diver, but may be presented in combinations that are unfamiliar. To give you an example, um, you've probably done gas sharing before. In fact, you've definitely done gas sharing before, and you should have deployed your lift bag many, many times and be very comfortable. Well, now let's see if you can share gas while deploying your lift bag little bit more challenging. After your training, you will have the confidence and skills to plan and execute technical dives using helium mixers and travel gas with deco gases with a buddy of the same skill level as yourself to a maximum depth of 100 meters or 330 feet. There is no deeper certificate in sport diving. Okay, so what prerequisites do you need before you join the 1% of the 1% of divers who are qualified to 330 feet or 100 meters? As I said before, with all technical diver training, there is the agency's prerequisites and there are your instructor's prerequisites. And if the instructor is worth their time, their prerequisites will be a lot more stringent than the agency. But here are the TDI agency requirements for advanced trimix. You need to be at least 18 years old you need a minimum of either extended range or trimix diver we haven't talked about extended range yet i'll probably make a side video on that um not a big fan just to give you the short answer there um, you also need to have at least 100 log dives and 25 of those must be at least 30 meters or 100 feet deep again from the agency's point of view, just ridiculously low standards. The expectation is on the instructor to raise those standards and make sure that only people that are truly prepared to take this level of training are actually on the course. So 25 dives deeper than 100 feet, 
absolutely not. That means you can get your Trimix Diver Cert, do 25 dives to 101 foot, and all of a sudden you're ready for 330 feet? No, absolutely not. In my opinion, you need at least 50 Trimix dives between 150 and 200 feet. That's 45 to 60 meters. You need to have complete mastery of all fundamental dive skills. And as a prerequisite, we also need to have dived together as a buddy pair before. Yeah, absolutely. There is no stranger danger, no new instructor student relationship being forged on an advanced Trimix course. So who should take the advanced Trimix course? Well, with the growing popularity of closed circuit dive systems and the ever increasing helium prices, doing an open circuit advanced Trimix class seems like an exercise in futility. I would go as far as to say that this course is only for divers who want to hit specific sites in the 250 to 330 foot range that have absolutely no interest of ever doing closed circuit rebreather training. Because if you even have a 1% idea in the back of your mind somewhere that maybe you want to do a rebreather one day, there is absolutely no point in spending money on an open circuit advanced Trimix class. It's going to be incredibly expensive and it's going to set back your budget for buying that rebreather in the first place. That's just the facts of the case. So if you want to dive these depths with any kind of regularity, you might want to consider doing so on CCR first because you will save money immediately over your open circuit course in terms of the gas cost doing this course on CCR versus open circuit. And if you keep diving at these depths and keep saving the money on the gas bill, that will help you offset the cost of your unit in the long run. Let me know in the comments below if you've taken an advanced Trimix Diver course, where did you do it and how much did you enjoy that course and what do you use it for nowadays? As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. You guys at the start of the year requested more technical diver based videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. Thanks as always for watching. My name's James. This was your Divers Ready video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.